Hello, again you welcome to today's class. Here we have a question before us today. The question is x to the power of x times the square root of x equal to bracket open x times the square root of x close bracket or raised to the power of x. How do we solve for the value of x? Yeah, it is very easy. Without much waste of time, let's go straight to today's challenge. So the first thing we take our solution here all right all we need to do is to handle this radical and handle this radical here okay so how do we handle this radical we convert that to numerals so this will now give us x to the power of x times our x to the power of one all over two all right equal to bracket open x times x r to the power of one all over two close bracket r to the power of x so we succeeded changing the radical to this format, right? Now, what we do, look at this. This is multiplication. This is multiplication, right? But before then, let's open this bracket because this guy is in bondage. So we use this to open up this. According to the law, we say that if you have your m to the power of a, b, this is equal to m to the power of a bracket your b which is equal to m to the power of b bracket a so we can express this in this format and also in this format all right so if we consider this law then we can use this to multiply everything in here in other words the exponent here we have invisible one we all know that right good so if we use this to multiply everything here Good to have this to be x. Let's take keep this side of the expression x to the power of 1 all over 2. This is equal to our x to the power of x times our x to the power of x all over 2. Easy. Okay. So what we do here now, this is multiplication. The bases are the same, but the exponents are different. Here we have divisible 1. Then this is multiplication. The bases are the same exponent. Are different so we can add the exponent same thing we do here so this will give us here x this one here right so we're gonna have this to the power of x if we add one plus one all over two that will give us three all over two so we have here three all over two right this is equal to if we add this to this this will give us three x all over two so we have x to the power of 3x all over 2. Easy. All right. So what we do here now, check the base number here. The base on the left-hand side is x. The base on the right-hand side is also x. So since the bases are the same and we have equality sign, then we can equate the exponents. Very easy. So let's go ahead and equate the exponent. So this will give us x to the power of 3 all over 2. This is equal to, here we have, 3x all over 2. Good. Now what we do, look at this. We want to eliminate this x here so that only numerals will be at the right hand side. Then we'll take the variable to the left hand side. So what do we do here? We divide by x, right? Good. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by x. So we divide this all over. So you will have x. We probably divide this by x. So this, this will leave the system. Now we are having a division sign here now. And look at this here. So the exponent here is also 1. So since we have a division sign and the basis are the same, what we'll do there, we subtract this power from this. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's continue on this side of the bird. Okay. So from here, this will automatically give us x to the power of 3 all over 2, then minus 1, this is equal to, we are left with 3 all over 2. I believe this is clear enough, right? So if we carry out this subtraction here, this is going to give us x to the power of 2, this is equal to 3 all over 2. Easy. So what we do here, we're looking for x. So we'll take the square of both sides. So let's square this 
and we equally square this side also. So this this leaves the system. So we left it for x. X is equal to we use this to open up this. So this is going to give us here three to the power of two all over two to the power of two, which is equal to nine all over four. So we now have our x therefore is equal to nine all over four. Easy. So this is the value of x that will satisfy this original equation. Okay, what you want to do is very simple check to see if the value x equals to 9 all over 4 satisfy the original equation. So let's take a check. Check. The equation is x. So our x is 9 over 4. So we're going to have here 9. Let's write it where over 4, right? All raised to the power of 9 all over 4 times the square root of 9 all over 4, everything equal to, um, here we have bracket, your 9 all over 4 there times the square root of 9 all over 4 plus bracket all raised to 9 all over 4. Easy. How you know that? Yes. What is the square root of 9 over 4? That is 3 all over 2. So let's go ahead and rewrite this. So we're going to have here 9 all over 4, all raised to 9 all over 4 times 3 all over 4. This is equal to, here we're going to have here 9 all over 4, there times 3 all over 2, right? Good. Um, sorry, here yeah, it's uh, over 2, please. <laughs> yes, yeah, over 2. Okay, then all raised to 9 all over 4. Okay, so again, let's continue on this side. Let's see what this gives us in turn. So look at this. According to this law, again, we can move this in, then this remains out here. So if we do that, this is going to give us here, uh, this now implies that bracket up in 9 all over 4, all raised to our 3 all over 2 close bracket all raised to 9 all over 4 equal to then on this side we can use this to times this use this to time this right so this will give us 27 all over here we have 8 right then all raised to power 9 all over 4 okay so what we do next this is 1 all over 2, which is square root, and here we have power 3. So if we take the square root, oh, let's rewrite this. So we write it this, we have 9 all over 4, so the square root, all raised to power 3, the square bracket, all raised to power 9, all over 4, equal to 27, all over 8, all raised to power 9, all over 4. Okay, so the square root of 9 will give us 3. Here will give us 2. So we have 3 all over um, uh, 2, 3 all over 2, all raised to power 3, all raised to our 9 all over 4, which is equal to 27 all over 8, all raised to power 9 all over 4. How we know that? Then this, we can use to open this and this. So 3 to the power of 3 will give us 27. And 2 to the power of 3 will give us 8. So we have here 27 all over 8, all raised to our 9. Yeah, right. write it where this is 9, please. All over 4 equal to 27 all over 8, all raised to 9, all over 4. So this shows that our answer is very very correct okay so you discover what we have here is same thing we have on the other side of the board all right so this might be end to this wonderful algebra if you learn something from this simple algebra give the video a thumbs up if you have any question with regard to this challenge the procedure applied here drop it in the comment section as we are there to reply to all your comments and if you have a better way of solving this challenge, 
please do not hesitate to share it with all i must tv thank you for being there we love you bye for now